Alrighty everyone, so back down on the river again. Um, I haven't been down here in probably, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Been super busy and haven't had the chance to come down, so I'm excited um, to have a go at it today. Right now it's about 4.30. Um, I sort of need to wait till the sun starts to go down a bit before the fish, you know, really get on the bite because it's quite sunny weather today. Um, I can see a bunch of fish down there right now. It looks like a herring. I saw a bass down there before. So, uh, yeah, by the time the sun starts to drop a bit, we should start getting uh, a few bass. Um, I'm going to get the gear together and get started. I think we'll go the bait caster um, for this session. So on this, I'm running my uh, uh, 10 pound braid and eight pound fluoro leader as usual. Alrighty, lures. Just going to go with my favorite lure, which is this little uh, TN50, done awesome on this in the past few sessions. So uh, you might notice on this, I'm um, running these little, uh, these little single hooks instead of trebles today. Um, I put those on the other day when I was fishing somewhere um, with a bit with a few more snags and reeds and stuff around um, and if they don't really seem to affect the hookup rate I might leave them on Alrighty, let's get into this ah. So I was actually uh, Fishing at a certain weir the other day that locals would recognize um, And I nearly caught a trout on this lure. I did have it on film But I didn't make a uh, video out of it since that was the only fish um, I hooked up to and I didn't even get it in. But um, yeah, trout do go for the, for the TN50, even though it's not a, it's not your typical trout lure. Let's keep carrying on. Oh yeah, there we go. That was about time. Come on, mate. Let it drag off a bit. Let him fight. Yep. All right. Doesn't look huge, but it's good enough to put up a bit of a fight. Let's get him up. Whoa. It should be easy to get the, uh, the hook off this guy. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to try out the single hooks. I don't like how hard it is sometimes to get the, the treble hooks out of them. Bought a brag mat the other day. There we go. Let's get a measurement. Right on 30. See you, buddy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, the losing knife, I got it. Yes or no? Oh, yeah, he's just fighting weirdly. Can't see. Yeah. Oh, he's just a little guy. That's all. Wah, there we go. All right. That guy. He's about uh, 27, that guy. All right, let's get him back. Barely tell that guy was on. Over there, I think. Right out in the middle. I think they're just starting to come onto the bite now. This is the time of day where they start to just go crazy. Ooh. Yep, yeah, that's a good size one. Oh, I was tightening up my drag a bit for him. He's fighting a bit harder. I don't know. It's not very big either. He just he just fights hard. Whoa, and his mates are following him. Come <laughs> on, get up there, mates. Oi, 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 settle, settle, settle. Oh, let's get some of the sand off him. What is he? On the mats. Yeah, 32, that guy. Cool. If anyone's wondering why I tend not to just grab these, um, when they're bigger fish, you can't really get your hand around them. And that right there, that little, this is their gill cover, or I think a, a perculum, that is super sharp. So he just got me, just nicked me with it then. And um, kind of stings too when they get you. See you, buddy. Here you guys. All right, you know what? One more cast. And uh, 
might switch over try something else out this lure has proven itself but um now that i know the fish are on the bite there's a few other new ones that i want to test out I've got this new crankbait here berkeley twitcher 60 so decent size um nice big fat lure hopefully for a big fat bass all right i'm gonna keep moving up this little section sometimes does me pretty well it's going a bit quiet i think i don't know if it's the lure or the fish have just gone quiet but um not really getting any bites on this so i'm going to change it up again we'll go a chatterbait or a spin bait see see how that does little jackal day break chatterbait on the back of that i'm going to stick a cow bait tea tail minnow and on top of that i'm going to stick on some assist hooks so there we go all set up all right you know what i'm gonna move up a bit here get over to that spot over there where i always seem to do really well all right here we are this is the spot oh bunch of bass over there bunch of them oh have we got something yeah we have feels very small i don't know anymore have we still got it i can't tell yeah i think we got a little oh wow look how tiny this little dude is look at that little guy ah tiny tiny little bass there he goes straight off him what is he i'm gonna say he's about 15. Oi, don't 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 do that stop that i'd say just about bang on 15 yep all right little guy we'll put you back i think that's fish number three or four can't remember okay i just want to get this lure back in the water but it keeps tangling up all right back out that way again i think ah bloody snag scare off all the fish while i try to get back i don't think i'm getting this one back damn it i really like that little chatterbait so all that talk i was saying before about uh not needing these um single hooks on here because there's no snags around wow there's heaps of bass cruising around in front of me and some of them are just not interested at all what the hell i'm literally running this through a school of bass right now and the bass like it's it's hitting the bass like it's ramming into them and it's scaring them away right see it turning that one in for oh, what might we try i'm going to give this a go a little jack or pompadour surface lure just something completely different to what i've been trying on them so far i wonder if they'll follow that Oh yeah, there we go. Something a bit different and it worked. <laughs> wow, that was so cool seeing him take it off the surface. Oh, come on, come on, mate. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, just lost him. Damn, a couple of lost that fish. But um, does go to show that the surface lure might not have been such a bad, bad idea. Just something different, I was thinking. Thought maybe they will sick of eating fish. Oh, just had another go, yeah. Is he on? Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that seems to be the way to get him. Oh, he's not a bad size. Come on. Oh. Come on. Let's get him in, let's get him in. Come on, let's get him in, get him in. Yes! Oh, that is great. That is how <laughs> to do it, I guess. Wow, he's chunky. Oh, chill, mate. Chill, 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 chill. Uh, 30, whoa, 36, 37. I reckon if you do that to his tail, yeah, he's 37. See, mate. Jackal Micro Pompadour is this lure, by the way. I've been dying to test this thing out, but I've been waiting until uh, 
the cicadas sort of come out so I thought they wouldn't be really interested in a surface bite until then but clearly they're interested in a surface bite now oh yeah yeah <laughs> this is awesome <laughs> oh they freaking attack that too they are so aggressive oh Come on, mate. And man, they hit that with a lot of them. I bet you they're, they're sort of like waiting for the cicadas to come out this year and they haven't really yet. Oh, he's hooked a bit funny. We'll see if we get him in. Oh, come on, mate. Oh, that's the way to get him. Woo! 32, I'd call him. Let me grab you. I won't put you back. All right, put this guy back. There, mate. Off he goes. That hook's just broken on that little jackal. That uh, little, not even a treble hook. It's like a, it looks sort of like a treble hook, but it's not. All right, so down to our last battery there. The camera battery ran out just then, ran out just then but I've just put a little treble hook on the back of that pompadour. Oh, yeah, got him. Oh, yes. This is freaking awesome. Come on. Oh, get up. Get up past that rock, mate. Come on. Come on. Come on, mate. Up over here. Up over here. Oh, yeah, another good one. This is absolutely freaking tops. Let's measure him. What is he? 30. If we do that to his tail. Oh, he's about 31 and a half. Uh, see you buddy off he goes he's... this is so much fun this is ridiculous oh yeah <laughs> I watched him come and take it <laughs> oh nice nice <laughs> oh come on mate get up there get up there get up there oh he's not bad to be honest, none of these have been super big, but uh... Alright, so this guy looks like he's had a bit of an injury. Just here on his gill, that's all the way through to the... Uh, I don't know if it's bone or uh, cart cartilage, I guess. Um, yeah, something scathed him all the way through that. 30... about 32. Yeah, there's a lot of smaller ones getting around now. I think 36 or 37 was the biggest one we've had today. In backs, yep. All right. I don't know if this rain is a, a very good thing for trying to fish the surface. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, so good. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, yes. Uh, I don't know what number fish this is, but this is just unreal. It's too good. What is that guy? 30. Move his tail in. He's 32. Let's get him back. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Wow, look at him fight. He wanted that. Oh. <laughs> it like creeps up on you when they've got a strike or not. Oh, is he? Oh, that is frick. That's a chunky one. That is what we want. He might not be 40, but like he looks really fat. Oh, 38 if you stretch it. Still a big fish. Wow, so good size ones are still around. That's great to see. Put him back. See you, mate. Surface fishing is by far, by far, by far the, uh, the funnest way to catch stuff like this. Bass, cod. I've never fished for a cod, Murray cod before, but I'd 
I really like to try and tick that off my bucket list soon. Oh, freaking straight onto it. Oh, where is he? Oh, they fight so hard when they take it off the surface. Oh, mate, get up here. Try not to lose him. Oh, he's a good size. I don't want to lose this one. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what number fish this is, but this is just ridiculous. Not cracking 40 yet. He'd be 30, 38 and a half. See ya, big guy. Off he goes. All right. One last cast after this and we'll head back. Oh, I was hoping we'd get one on that. I really want to make another cast, but no. Nah. Got to have some uh, self-control. So I'm going to wrap that up before it gets completely dark. Um, that was just an unreal session. That is the best session I've had hands down fishing ever. That was just ridiculous. That surface bite is so, so, so fun. So uh, yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to head back. Um, if you like watching bass videos like this, I've got plenty of others up. Um, mostly fishing down here, but a few other places too. And um, subscribe if you want to see um, me do any more of these. Um, I'm definitely going to be coming down a lot more lately. And uh, getting onto this surface bite. Freaking unreal. See you on the next one.